A community comes together to help an infant in need. Baby Zach Asifa suffers from a rare liver disease, and a transplant is his only salvation. Mary Gannon has the story. Four and a half month old baby Zach may not look sick now, but if he doesn't receive a liver transplant soon, he will die. He has a disease called biliary atresia, and that is, um, they believe it's a virus that attacks the bile ducts of the liver um, of small infants, uh, either in utero or the first few weeks of life. And so he has no bile drainage, and he's going to be getting, you know, um, worse and worse as time goes by. Family members and friends of Zach's parents, Jill Congable and Samuel Asefa, gathered at a Northside dance club where the couple met more than 10 years ago to lend both their financial and emotional support. We were so excited in January when they had their baby and we heard the details of the labor and everything and we're thrilled. And then six weeks later we found out that Zacharias was very sick. And so all of us here just love them so much we wanted to do anything we could to help out the baby and help out Sam and Jill. And the couple will need lots of help. Transplants cost a quarter of a million dollars. But first you have to find a donor. It's not just signing your driver's license anymore. You have to really make it clear to the members of your family while you're healthy that if something ever happens to me, this is, you know, what I want to have done. The parents' high hopes of becoming live liver donors to Zach were dashed several months ago when Sam found he didn't have the baby's blood type and Jill ran into another medical roadblock. She has the same blood type and she qualified uh, to be the donor. But unfortunately, two months after she gave blood for, for, his, for future transfusion, uh, they found out that she tested positive for hepatitis C antibodies, and that ruled her out for being a donor. Baby Zach's parents wear a beeper at all times, just in case a liver does become available soon. Time is of the essence for them, since doctors say his condition could begin rapidly deteriorating in a matter of months. On Chicago's North Side, Mary Gannon, WGN News. If you'd like to help Baby Zach, donations can be sent to this address. The Baby Zach Acefa Fund, 1852 West Bernice Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60613.